Okay students, chromatin is the complex of DNA along with the proteins. The proteins can be histones and the non-histones. Now during the resting phase, what is also known as the interphase, most of the DNA is present in the form of the nucleosomes or the bead in the string models. And this form of DNA is collectively called the chromatin. For a fair bit of explanation, diagrammatically we have shown a nucleus here. You can see the nucleus all around with two outer membranes, outer and inner membrane, nuclear envelope. You have the nuclear pores, you have the nucleolus and then you have the <coughs> nucleus along with the DNA. Now if you look very carefully, most of the DNA is present in the form of the threads. That is the nucleosome model or the bead in the string model. <coughs> now this form of the DNA, where the DNA is along with proteins, co in complex with proteins, it's known as the chromatin. So fair enough now we know what is chromatin now what is euchromatin and heterochromatin now heterochromatin euchromatin is the lightly stained loosely packed in the lent less condensed region of the chromatin is called the euchromatin whereas the darkly stained tightly packed and the more condensed region of the chroma uh, chromatin are called the heterochromatin for understanding this let's look at this nucleus which has been stained by the nuclear dyes now you can look here that there are two kinds of uh, uh, regions one is very darkly stained regions these are called as the heterochromatin whereas the other is called the lightly stained regions are called the euchromatin now here you have a structure of a chromosome you have a centromere and you have a telomere the centromeric region are in both the centromere region and the regions near the centromere and the telomeres they are orange colored and these are the heterochromatic regions whereas the region between the centromere and the telomere is the euchromatin and that is your purple colored okay so fair enough so the lightly stained or the loosely packed and the less condensed region of the chromatin are called euchromatin now this form of the chromatin is transcriptionally active and it also replicates okay for as far as the transcriptional activation is concerned you can look here since the chromatin is tightly packed i mean this area is heterochromatin you have one area in blue the other in orange and this dna is quite tightly packed so this is the heterochromatin whereas the euchromatin is the lightly packed region and you can see this is more accessible to the replication as well as the transcription machinery whereas the heterochromatin is less accessible both to the transcription and the replication machinery similarly heterochromatin is the darkly stained tightly packed and the condensed region of the chromatin are called the heterochromatin we have already had a look at this this form of the chromatin is transcriptionally inactive very important and also slow to replicate now there are two forms of the chromatin constitutive and facultative heterochromatin constitutive which is permanently heterochromatin like your centromeres and telomeres and facultative which can switch between chroma hetero and euchromatin are called facultative now let's look at the differences vis-a-vis -vis. Now euchromatin is the lightly stained region under the nuclear stains. It is the darkly stained region. The euchromatin is the DNA is lightly bound or it is less condensed. Whereas in heterochromatin the DNA is tightly bound or more condensed. Now the euchromatin is transcriptionally active whereas heterochromatin is transcriptionally inactive. Now the replication occurs throughout the S phase whereas in heterochromatin replication occurs in late S phase. Here the meiotic recombination is present whereas in heterochromatin meiotic recombination is absent. One of the most important thing which you need to understand these things which are marked in red are important and they can be asked in many CSR net as well as your gate exams. These are important concepts. Now euchromatin is present in the inner body of the nucleus whereas heterochromatin is present in the periphery of the nucleus. You can have a very clear, clear look here heterochromatin or the darkly stained regions are in the periphery and the lightly stained regions are in the inner body of the nucleus so i think that's it thank you thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and write us back at genesis academy daily at the rate of gmail.com thank you